Various government ministries, the protective services and other stakeholders gathered on the Brian Lara Promenade to share prevention and preparedness tips to the public. Minister of National Security Fitzgerald Hines commended the stakeholders' efforts in ensuring community engagement. He also noted that even though this country has largely been spared the destruction of natural disasters, he warned that we are not immune. Disaster is always looming large and we don't know not when or not how. So I'm more than comforted to know that there are persons who are trained to respond to those and that they are taking the opportunity during this month to sensitize all of us so that we will know the things that we can do to assist ourselves because we are the first responders. Chief Executive Officer of the Office of Disaster Preparedness Management, retired Major General Rodney Smart, explained the importance of focusing on prevention and preparedness ahead of the Atlantic hurricane season beginning on June 1st. And that period throughout the region has been the most devastating. Fortunately for us in Trinidad and Tobago, we have been spared. But we must be prepared just in case. So this is going to go throughout the country. Next week, we're going to be in San Fernando on the Harris Promenade. And in two weeks after, in Scarborough. The National Disaster Prevention and Preparedness Multisectoral Committee, spearheaded by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, is responsible for the staging of the expo and other activities during this month.